be warned. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce a person who is no stranger to people who've been to the TCM Classic Film Festival before. How many of you have been here before, by the way? How many of you are here for the first time? All right. Okay, I like it. Thank you for being here for the first time. I appreciate it. And thank you for being here uh, multiple times. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce a great friend of our network. Uh, she's no stranger to this festival. If, she, if you're a fan of TCM, she's certainly no stranger to you. Allison Anders is an award-winning film and television writer and director. Her film credits include Border Radio, Sugar Town, Gas Food Lodging, Medina Loca, Grace of My Heart. You guys know Ileana Douglas is around in the house. Uh, four, and Four Rooms. She's also directed the Peabody award-winning film Things Behind the Sun in 2001. And in 2013, she directed Ring of Fire on the life of country singer June Carter Cash. And in, yeah, everybody loves June Carter Cash. And in 2016, directed a remake of Beaches uh, for a different network that it will not name. Uh, Anders has also directed uh, episodes of hit shows such as Sex in the City, Cold Case, The L Word, Southland, Orange is the New Black, Murder in the First, AMC's Turn, Washington Spies, and CW's Much Lauded and Awesome Riverdale. Uh, she will return to Riverdale uh, this summer to direct season two. She's a professor of film and media studies at UC Santa Barbara, those lucky students. And among her many other numerous achievements, and I've cut out a bunch of stuff here, included New York Film Critics Circle Award, as well as the MacArthur Foundation Fellowship, Allison Anders. such a beautiful introduction and I love TCM just as much as you do, every bit as much. And um, so now I figure we should, usually when I do these things, there's a lot of information there. It's almost academic and very personal. Well, this could not be more personal and less academic. How many have seen Feud? <laughs> Me too. It's gonna be very hard to miss tomorrow night to come here. Um, and, okay, so I, I know you guys have got the ribbons, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how many Bettys? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm dressed like Jane. <laughs> and where are my Jones? Yeah. Yeah. So you really are divided up in sections? Oh my God, that's so good. I couldn't have planned that. Um, all right, well, my God. How many have seen the movie? Good. That's even better. I thought maybe more people had seen Feud than have seen the movie. Well, here's the incredible thing. Um, in looking at all the research that was given to me for this, you know what blows my mind? Is that most of the stuff in Feud is true. That's what really, like, I just can't even get over it. It's so great. So, um, well, I think we need to continue the feud, don't you? Yeah. Because nothing's better than that. I mean, sure, there are great female friendships, but, <laughs> you know? We do have to talk about Robert Aldrich for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Some, uh, yeah. There are, there are those that want it to be Team Aldrich, too. And by the way, I think team is the wrong word. I think camp is definitely the word. Um, you know, what can I say? He, he did such a, as a director myself, I can't even believe. And having had a few feuds on my set myself, I can't even imagine what this man went through. I'm sure it's worse than what's in feud. Um, but, uh, but having said that, and normally I would not say that a film belongs to anybody else but the writer-director, uh, I think this movie belongs to these girls. So let me tell you why I'm Team Betty. Sorry, but I am. <laughs> That's why. Um, there's a film that's often on TCM, A Stolen Life. Betty, it was one of her first films at Warner Brothers, I believe, when she had her own deal. And she hired the director and she hired, 
you know, she found the script, she hired uh, the virtually unknown, um, her, gosh, I can't even remember his name now, Glenn Ford. And um, it was called A Stolen Life, and it was one of my favorite films. It was the first film that I saw that I really understood when I was five years old. And, um, and I based my whole romantic life on this movie, which tells you a little something as to why I'm here alone tonight. But um, <laughs> if only I had a twin to really mess it up. But, um, but that, from that, from that time forward, Betty represented a kind of duality for me. And in a weird way, this movie represents duality as well. I think that competition and feuds are kind of good. And, um, and if they're not, they sure make for good movies and TV series. So let's just feud while we're watching this. <laughs> Please be vocal, be rowdy, and uh, may the best girl win. <laughs> so fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Thank you.